At Invensys Process Systems, our clients represent the largest energy consumers and producers in the world today. And with the current economic issues going on throughout the world, we're finding that our industrial clients are in a more difficult financial situation than they've ever been in before. And Invensys Process Systems can help them with this. And we've learned that there are five fundamental components that our clients need to be able to control effectively in order to be able to manage their way through this economic environment. First is production value. That is, increasing the value they get out of their industrial assets. Second is energy cost. Third is material cost. Energy cost and material cost make up the large majority of variable cost in industrial operations today. As a matter of fact, for a number of our operations, energy cost composes about 80% of the overall variable cost of an industrial plant. And those three variables, production value, energy cost, and material cost, are constrained by safety and the environment. Those five together make up a sustainable business environment. Invensys Process Systems helps our clients with all five of those. And the way we do it is we break it down to a four component model that we apply for our clients. You see, the first component is being able to measure their business in real time. Traditionally, our clients have measured their business through an enterprise resource planning system such as SAP, Oracle, JDE, any of those systems out there. And in those cases, they measure their business on a monthly basis. Managers get a report four, five, six days after the end of the month telling them what they did last month. That's too late. Last month's over by the time they get the information. It's just too late. They need that information in real time. You see, 10 years ago, most of our our industrial companies could make contracts with their energy suppliers that were six-month contracts or annual contracts for the supply of energy. This essentially relegated energy price to a constant over that period of time. I got to tell you, today that's just not the case. Energy price changes in real time wherever you are in the world. In the United States, for example, it's not unusual to find energy costs to an industrial plant changing 24, even 48 times a day. This has relegated what's been a transactional business variable to real time. The only way to manage industrial businesses today is in real time. That's the key. And Invensys Process Systems provides a real time performance management model that allows our clients to do that. We do it by first measuring the business in real time. In order to do that, you need a database that provides the information in real time. Well, we have that database. The database is there in the form of flows, levels, temperatures, pressures, compositions, all of the sensors that are in every process industrial plant that's in the world today. You take that information and you model real-time key performance indicators and real-time accounting measures right in the control system that's already running, that's already controlling the plant. Once you have these measures in real-time, then you can empower the plant personnel with the information they need to understand how they're doing their job relative to business. This isn't just the management personnel. We're talking about frontline personnel, operators, maintenance people, engineers. You know, traditionally in industry, we've tended to ignore the frontline personnel, treat them as though they're laborers and keep them out of the business picture. What a waste of a perfectly excellent resource. At Invensys Process Systems, we empower those people. We give them the information to understand if they do something as, as little as changing a set point, you know, a temperature on a vessel. They can tell whether that change added or detracted business value from their operation. Every single activity they undertake, they can tell whether that activity is adding value or detracting value. And what we've learned is over time, these frontline workers will learn how to be performance managers. Let's not think of them as laborers. Let's think of them as performance managers. That's real-time business empowerment. The third component of the model after measurement and empowerment is control. Applying control techniques to the business, not just to the process. Now, companies that we've got in our portfolio, such as the Foxborough Company, invented process control. Now we're applying those concepts to business variables, not just process variables. And by doing that, we can really control the business. And the fourth component is real-time business optimization. Now, when we talk about business optimization, we're not just talking about applying scientific optimization techniques, we're really talking about breaking down the silos that exist in any industrial operation in the world. For example, in any industrial plant, you have operators that run the plant and maintenance people that maintain the assets. 
Usually those two groups, although working in the same assets, never even talk to each other. They don't even like each other. And what we're trying to do is figure out how we can use technology to pull them together to create a collaborative environment between them. Traditionally, operators are measured on asset utilization. Maintenance people are measured on asset availability. Utilization and availability are inverse functions, which means we're literally forcing these two groups to fight against each other to perform their duties. What we're trying to do at Inventus Process Systems is to come up with a different measure, the business performance from the asset. That defines the win, and it defines the win for both groups. If both groups have the same winning metric, they work together and they drive value. Our experience is when we empower people this way, and when we use this information this way, we can really drive returns on investment within three months without any problem at all that's sustainable, that's ongoing, driving bottom line value in a safe and environmentally secure industrial plant. The key is real time. Traditionally, we've had monthly measures. Monthly measures don't cut it. You need the real-time measures. That plant is running in real-time, and the measures have to run in real-time. And if you have the measures in real-time, you have the controls in real-time, and the optimization in real-time. And the results are phenomenal. And we can get more value out of traditional industrial assets than most industrial operators ever thought they could get. And you do this with real-time energy management.